So far, we've been using CSS to design um, design layouts for the screen. And one of the nice things about CSS is that it provides you the opportunity to um, create layouts, not just for the screen, but for other media as well. So, so far we've had a, um, a link here to our style sheet. We've left off something called the, the media attribute. So all of these have been media for the screen. Um, we could also uh, do a media for print. So we could do another link, uh, rel is to style sheet. Uh, and then href equals print.css and media is print. That way, for example, we might not want to have this busy background. We might want to have a plain bat black, uh, white black background. We probably can get rid of or hide using a display none um, the, the navigation. Uh, we could probably do something about doing all of our colors in black if we have any white colors, for example, and maybe use a print friendly serif font. So these are all things we could do in the print a version of our CSS. And so we would just be kind of starting from scratch. We'd have a new file called print CSS. And in that we might say, you know, body background white, and we might set the margins so that they would be good for a printer. And then when you go to print this, the browser will automatically go and look and see if there's a media print uh, style sheet and use that instead. Pr we're not limited to print. There's uh, handheld, there's uh, TV, which really isn't used very much. This is part of the spec for a long time, but I wish it were used more often. Um, unfortunately, most browsers don't know when they're on a TV, otherwise it would be out outstanding, and most people don't use TV. Anyway, that's an aside. Um, the most frequent ones are handheld and, and print. Um, I would be remiss there's always more than one way to do things. So um, uh, another way to do this is to kind of just leave the single, um, well, you'd, you'd, you'd need to say, you could say all, or you could say uh, screen and print. Um, just have link, a link to a single CSS file. And then in the CSS file itself, you can actually use a control that looks like this and say at media print and then do some things inside of here, like, for example, um, you could set, again, uh, the body background white, etc. So that's the other way to do it. So why would you do it this way? Why would you add another layer of stuff within your single CSS file? Well, often when you're working with something like the, the clear example here is WordPress, um, it's, it's easier to work within a single CSS file when you may not have control over the HTML. So you can add it in right in the CSS itself. We'll see other examples of uh, places where you might want to just have it be in one place in the CSS if you can't or don't want to mess with the HTML itself. So you could have a media print and then you could do uh, an at media handheld and have those all be in the same um, in the same single style.css file. Which way is better? Uh, well, it's up to you. I, I like the purity of having um, all of this decided in the CSS, but the much more common way to go, um, and probably the faster way to go, is to have multiple links to different media in your HTML.